a cashier saved me $10 with her anti-work attitude so I filled out the customer service survey. I went to my local Home Depot store to purchase some maple hobby board. There were massive, slow-moving lines and I was in a pretty foul mood by the time I got to the register. The board is sold by the foot so I knew someone had to measure it. The cashier looked at my obviously two-foot-long board, said, yeah, that looks like it's about a foot and entered as much into the register and saved me about $10. She made my morning so I took the time to fill out that receipt survey and mentioned what good service she did without saying what she actually did. I hope it improves her standing somehow. I don't imagine very many people try to fill those surveys out. What a nice thing of you to do, I hope you have a great day. That was very nice of you. When I sold flooring for HD, I had gotten surveys back. The funniest one was someone complaining I went into too much detail about the installation process. At least they couldn't complain I wasn't thorough and couldn't say I didn't tell them. I've worked jobs where these fucking ratings make or break any potential for any type of raise. Get rated 9 out of 10? You failed. Get rated all 10s except a 9 in one category. You failed. If you got even just okay service and have an extra second, please leave these folks glowing reviews. I once filled out a survey for my regular delivery man, giving him a glowing review. Then it asked me if there was anything that I could suggest that would have made my experience more satisfactory. I said that I was very unsatisfied with the idea that the delivery man and all his colleagues back at the depot may not be receiving fair pay and benefits. Could they do something about this immediately, please? Thank you for doing that. I worked as a cashier for a thankless company. I had a lady on the regular would buy a million cans of cat food. I'd usually do my best to count them out from a good estimate. But I'm sure I missed some each time. She always had a lengthy receipt. One time she was sure I didn't charge her enough. We both couldn't figure out what could be missing. She turned to leave I saw I had missed two bins of cat litter on a lower level. I decided not to say anything and wished her the best. I went to Aldi's and the cashier couldn't get the UPC to scan on sliced ham and she just chucked it in the cart, made my day. Once at a shoe store I was very polite to a cashier who just had a customer be very rude to him. He looked at me and said thanks for your service and gave me a veteran's discount. I'm not a veteran, but hey, I took the $20 in savings. That's awesome. I had bought cabinets at my Lowe's a few years back. There was a tiny scrape on the back of one of the pantry units. Guy looked at it and said I'll take $75 off for that, okay? I nearly kissed that dude. $75 for DMG I'd never see. Honestly I probably would have just ignored it. It was a good day. When I worked as a cashier I always gave out baby formula for free as long as they were buying something else so I wouldn't get caught. Sounds like seasonal help that is quickly running out of fucked. Usually the only people who take the time to fill out surveys are the ones complaining about something. As a retail worker, I just want to say thank you on her behalf. I love filling those out, or leaving messages about phone centers, such an easy way to help someone else. Once I went to Home Depot to purchase a fair bit of equipment $400-$500 for a single project. I spoke with a dope-ass employee about the tools and he told me to just buy, use and return because they have a great return policy. A true gentleman. I work in IT. Sometimes, when I close a ticket, I get an email with a survey. I always give myself top marks and say nice things about myself. Mum. It just occurred to me, on my annual review, customer service section always scores high. Is that me doing that? LOL. If they did a decent or better job, give them all the highest score. If they didn't do the best job, pretend you never met them and ignore the survey. Some places as some mentioned will punish for less than perfect scores. Some will reward for good scores. I've worked in a few places where they give bonuses if you got fives or mentioned by name positively. It's a small thing you can do to help someone out and it only costs a little of your time. 
support your fellow workers, especially in the awful holiday season. Whenever I do this sort of thing I'm always slightly terrified someone might mention it in a survey and unintentionally get me in trouble smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. Had something close to this happen the other day, was ringing up a discounted item only self-checkouts and the person who had to come key in the price literally looked at the package, complained about how shitty the person marking the item did black sharpie on the darkest part of the bag and rang it up for $1, was originally like 3.50. At the end of the purchase it asked if I wanted to rate the experience. That's good looking out. My job also relies on these ridiculous surveys. I ask every customer I come into contact with to fill them out sometimes 8-10 a day. I get one two turned in a month. When we visited our friend in Scotland, we went to the grocery store that her husband worked at and left him a glowing review. He got a goodie bag of free stuff including alcohol which we all shared. I work for a large grocery store chain, if something doesn't ring up not in system, even if I know the price, I'll either make one up or just give it to the customer. The evening before Thanksgiving we went to Home Depot. There were some unmarked car cleaners like to get snow off your car so we asked the person at the register how much. This person said $25, want them for 15 my partner and I thought about and, we didn't really need them so we said no thank you. Then this person said what about 10? We bought them. As a Home Depot service desk associate, yes, it does help. Your positive feedback can get us an extra badge on our apron, and for every three of those we get we get a $50 bonus with other rewards if we get, like, a ton. Obviously it's just a corporate ploy to make how underpaid we are sting a bit less and getting enough to get the really good rewards is all but impossible unless you put decades into it, but getting her another badge closer to 50 bucks extra definitely isn't nothing. I did this for someone once they had so much flooring, definitely over 100 boxes but I just called it at 80 and they pointed out how I miscounted like did you want the discount or a skull. I only fill out surveys with all perfect scores. I try to always use the words above and beyond and mention employee by name in case that gets them rewarded somehow. They want to make surveys useless by demanding perfection I'm happy to help them by giving useless feedback. Damn $20 for two feet of maple, that is taxing. I do stuff like this at work all the time and for some reason most customers like me. When I worked at Office Max, I would just give stuff to people for what the said the price was if they complained. I didn't get paid to give a shit or give any effort. I fill out surveys every chance I get, mark the employee with the highest rating close to the best is just as bad as getting a zero at these places. It's bullshit and comment how that they made my day. I also tell them that they are lucky that they are still working there for the slave wage that they are paying them. Then I tell them to stop working for the shareholders. I called Kroger customer service once to compliment a cashier. The customer service rep was really surprised to get a bit of positive feedback. I imagine it was nice for the rep to get a break from constant complaints, and I hope the cashier got a raise or something. Those surveys are only used to berate good employees for not getting five stars. So if the service was great, fine, five stars. If the service is just fine or okay, nobody needs to know. Love that happened one time when my daughter and I were getting huge pumpkins. They had to be at least $25.30 each but they weren't marked with the colored tag so she opened her book to the page and said since they weren't tagged she would just go with the first option.99 each took that survey for her that day. Used to think the workers just messed up, but I've started to wonder how much was just that it was easier for them to not care. I worked at Fazoli's once. I definitely got recognized more when Kay got a good review from a customer. Good for you. I'm always super nice to customer service people. For phone service I always refer to them by name, since they can help you if they want to, or not. I had a few awesome people that helped me with my mortgage relief during COVID, but also phones, internet service, etc. They are so used to being abused on the phone that a nice person that treats them like a person really stands out.